Welcome and thank you for joining me. This is Laurie of Laurie's Heirloom Sewing. So as you can see, I'm still cutting fabric for the 100 Mask Challenge. But there were a couple of things that I felt like I needed to share just in case you guys wanted to get started on this before I got back to you on the um, actual construction. One is a um, heat erase pen is going to really be a, um, a good friend. But if you've never used a heat erase pen before, there's a couple of things that you need to know. Um, and you can buy these at the store. I happened to order this batch on Amazon. You can write on your fabric. You can literally just scribble la, 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 all over your fabric and then hit it with an iron. And most fabrics will respond appropriately and the ink is basically heat erase. It goes away. Some fabrics, not so much. You might have to use a little bit of water and then hit it with your iron and then um, the ink will go away. But there's another thing about a heat erase pen that I think I need to show you guys. So, I'm gonna scribble that I'm gonna take my iron as you can see the ink has disappeared while it's still hot as you can see I can't draw on it the ink is disappeared while it's starting to cool off but if your fabric is hot it's just going to continue to erase until it cools off. You can see there's a little spot. Oh. And it won't accept this ink. I prefer to use this ink because it does disappear. So, the best way to deal with that issue is to just do this. So you've ironed it, you've brought it down here, you're going to trace around this you need this to be cool or this isn't going to work that's basically what I'm trying to tell you the other thing I wanted to talk about is fabric design and um, the print on the fabric <clears throat> for example I am cutting out the extra small out of this horse fabric I thought that would be a really cute fabric for the smaller it's kind of a wadded up mess Ugh, from the washing machine. Okay. All right. So I have the horses going this direction. If I fold the fabric this way, and cut the mask out so that it would be on the face this way, they're not really running the right direction. I think you can see what I'm talking about. They're kind of like running up the face, running down the face, whereas in this direction, they're actually going the proper way that an actual horse would be going if you were looking at it. So that's why you need to be aware of the direction of your print. I have cut out large or largest as I've decided to term that I think this is a largest right here no this is a medium okay so we have some mediums we have some largest we have some smalls I don't think I got to the extra small yet I might have but I don't think so on all of these. So, okay. Now, as long as you have two pieces of fabric that are the same size, it really doesn't matter if it's a small, medium, or large. You don't want to try to put a large piece of fabric with a small piece of fabric. That's just not going to work. Okay, so we have those fabrics cut. So I'm keeping 
two pieces together so that at least I know that will fit. And now I'm going to cut out the interior, the lining. And I'm using the um, pieces of um, flour sack that I have. I'm not really sure. 